It's terrible. It's nowhere near right. Line boring and rebuilding classic 911 engines. We rebuild a lot of engines at PR Technology and the early engines are typically magnesium. The crankcases are magnesium. We have one here to show you. I'm going to explain what line boring is. The centre of the crankcase has a hole through the middle and that's where the crank runs. I'm going to split the crankcase now. This is how it sits in the car normally. It's in two halves. Lightweight magnesium, which is wonderful from a design point of view, but in reality, we have problems because the magnesium is actually quite soft. So when we're line boring an engine, we're looking at the cavity that runs, the bore that runs through the middle of the crankcase. Over time, this hole will actually distort. So it begins life round, and then it pushes closed over time. This is due to, have a look at another crankcase here. This is an aluminium version. The through bolts that run through the middle of the crankcase, there's a whole lot of them that hold the crankcase together, have quite a lot of force. Over time, these bolts pull the crankcase together and they distort that center hole, so they make it oval. This can happen over many years, 30, 40 years, something like that. The problem we encounter with the 911 engines are that when we go to rebuild them and this hole is distorted, we can't put new bearings in the crankcase halves anymore because the crank will bind up on the bearings. The solution is to line bore the crankcase. Porsche have specific tools for that. You can see we've got a manual over here. These are all the Porsche specific tools. So what are our options? If we weren't going to line bore, the only other option would be to replace the crankcase totally. Porsche are now supplying new reproduction crankcases. It's about $20,000, quite expensive. Problem with that is they're not exactly the same as the originals. Wonderful quality, rebuilds the car, keeps the car on the road, but it's not exactly the same. The other option would be to uh, do a similar thing to line boring, but which is what we do, and it's to machine both halves of the crankcase, bring them closer together, and then machine the centre out as well, which is also line boring. I don't really like that. It affects the IMS bearings where they run. It affects the chain tensioners. It affects the cylinder head spacing, so we need to run spaces under the barrels so the pistons don't hit the cylinder heads. My preference, if we can, is to line bore the case and go to the next oversize. The early cases are 62 millimetre nominal size on the, on the crank. We would be taking that out to 62.25, so a quarter of a millimetre. There's also a slight tolerance, so the factory says plus 0.02 millimetres, so it could be 62.27 millimetres. You're better off being a little bit bigger than smaller. You don't want the bearings binding up. And as I said, these crank cases are quite soft, so they move a lot anyway. So, a tiny bit bigger than smaller is always better. All right. <clears throat> yeah, so right now we're putting through the main shaft that the line boring reamers run on. There's some guide pieces here that go in that help us set up the shaft so it's in the middle. So it's in the middle of the original crankshaft hole, which makes that up a lot easier. These little pieces will come out in a moment as soon as I get the supports in on these edge parts. So it's a bit of a procedure. Okay, so now we have our guides in place and our bolts are locked up. We can take out our bearings and then remove our locating parts. Bearings go back in. So now we have this shaft that runs through the middle of the crankcase 
which is aligned with the old bore exactly. Next thing that happens is we fit one of the reamers to the shaft. Bearing goes back on. Okay, so I'll show you what does the cutting. This is the reamer down here, and it has little cutting teeth, and they're on a tapered shaft. So we can loosen off these collars, and we can move the collars backwards and forwards, which makes the reamer bigger or smaller. That allows us to precisely take the right amount that we want out of the center of the crankcase. This is how we drive the reamer just like a big tapping wrench, and it's done by hand. That's how we go. No machines here. So hopefully that makes sense, and that's how we repair and line bore a classic magnesium 911 crankcase.